What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Leo. My name is Andy, and this is our first time reacting to J. Cole. Uh, definitely heard of J. Cole before, uh, many times. Um, this one's interesting. I believe it's, it's trending really hard right now because of the fact that, uh, obviously, I'm sure you guys, some of y'all probably already know, but uh, J. Cole decided to, to do what some of us do who think we can become rappers sometimes. And type in, you know, uh, J. Cole type B, the Travis Scott type B, and try to rap over it, right? That's normally what any average person would do. Uh, try it sometimes. But what's insane is that J. Cole did it himself and uh, decided to, to drop, I don't know if he did a whole song over somebody else's beat. We're about to find out, but this well, is kind of insane. wrote in the comments? Um, I mean, he sent a message. This looks like an iPhone message. So it's kind of crazy. They he literally typed in J Cole type B uh, into YouTube and decided to click the first one he saw, so press he, play, he, he gave focused, it, and wrote on. He get it for free. Uh, yeah. Instead of keeping it in the vault, my boy decided uh, to bless the world and, and this person specifically, this person, bro. That is. I can only imagine. Wild is that? Does that be so many producers <laughs> uploading doing type beats <laughs> instantly? <laughs> Um, of course, this is J. Cole. Uh, it's not something like surprising. He's, I feel like he's just that kind of person. He keeps it real and just, just everything about him, bro. This man rides his bike around, just wears regular clothes. Like he could be bragging all he wants, but he's just chilling. That's kind of very humble, insane to me. Um, and, and this is even crazy because I can only imagine. Can you imagine? There's been times we wake up to like certain comments uh, from from. You know, big YouTubers, and it blows our minds. We, we have heart attacks. So imagine you, you get a whole song from J. Cole. That would, I would probably pass out. Uh, enough talking. Can't wait to check this out. Yo! Hey, yo, Scoop! Hey, yo, Scoop! My nigga, what's good? Hey. <laughs> Don't you dare run from it, there's no boogeyman It ain't coming to hurt you, I think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue To look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace I write these words aimlessly But not without hope that somehow I'll stumble on something that's dope A clever little line, a thought to provoke myself in that listener digging for quotes Hello I don't even know if somebody gon' hear this Got so many songs they get lost in the endless folders of the hard drive I wish I was more fearless Cause I just say fuck it and dump all the music for niggas that hate it And niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school Writing that last minute paper for class that's due in the morning And I still relate to that procrastination for tasks Cause I need to finish this album But hell, how many more times can I sit in this wooden pail Down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled Plus it don't help that I'm rich now So that means that I don't gotta deal With stress of these creditors calling my cellular Like that young rapper that don't got a deal But do got the skill and do got the will To make it no matter how long that it takes For labels to see or a song that are breaking the rest of the world to catch on that he's great uh. How do you tap in the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from? Maybe you feel my conundrum, or maybe the real is I'm so um Far removed from the struggles of everyday folks My shit just ain't never gonna hit like it hit when a nigga was a little more closer to broke uh, Fuck it, the challenge be having me stoked Throwing the talent, you gotta be joking I push my salary up with these quotes Now I push the Lambo truck down in the veil Hoping I connect with something that's real Part of me wonders why I'm even still uh, Holding on to this place My mama been gone and my partners are straight Right? Right Beat, bruh. It's a 
definitely a dope beat though. You know what's crazy, bro? Is that I, this man is a producer too. He used to like produce his first co I think until today, he still produces some of his stuff. In Muhammad's crib. Right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. He produces some of his stuff. He used to do his artwork. He used to do all that stuff. And it's crazy to me how how big you could be and how humble he is. Um to even go out of his way and like just I know, I know, a lot, I know a couple rappers that do that, but to do this and just be like, "Yo, here, here's a, here's a freebie," you know, like here, get, get your game up, like I hope this helps, type of stuff. I, I'm pretty sure as a producer, he felt that, like, let me help someone out, type stuff. Once again, I, I go back to the fact that how humble he is. Mm -hmm. Um. Obviously, from listening to like most of the songs, I, I think we've seen, I don't know if it was like documentaries or like videos of J. Cole, like coming up. And it's just the fact that you could tell how hungry he was to get to where he is now. Uh, didn't he get rejected by uh, certain labels or something like that? That he would try to like release his stuff and got rejected but kept going? I think so. Something like that. I, I can't remember word for word. But I want to say it, something like that happened where he just kept doing what he was doing, kept working hard at it. Um, and there's a lot of people like that. Um, it, it blows my mind because even in the song, he says it like, now, you know, I, I'm finally made it. Um, these songs probably don't hit me. Like it, I, it, it's crazy because I wonder, you know, if that happens to like all of them, where it's like when you first start off, you're, you're really hungry to, 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 to make it, to make money, to, to get that big crib, that whole big American dream, do whatever I want, travel wherever I want. And it's like your music, I, I want to say, is probably, I don't know. I, I don't want to say that they kind of lay off once they finally make it. But it's like, like he said, it doesn't hit as hard because you're already kind of there, you know? Yeah. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Obviously, I'm, I'm nowhere there. I would love to be there. I feel, some point I, feel like, I feel like doing something like this kind of like um, gives them something exciting. It's like something new, you know? It's like, a, it's like a coming out of his little comfort zone and like doing something new. Like, it's like if you're going like, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to be, just be comfortable at it. But going out of his way to find a find a type of beat, right? Just stretch it up, and then he's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna hop on this." I'm That's pretty sure he he, but he had a bunch of ideas in his mind. I mean, he is. He said it on on the song. He's working on his album. So I'm pretty sure he she's just cranking in the studio right now. It's the fact that bro, this man literally just said, "Eh, let's see what's happening on YouTube." Let's see what kind of beats they got on there. It goes to show you guys, too, at the same time, that not just him, but I'm pretty sure probably a lot of other uh, artists, singers, rappers, whatever it might be, they probably really go through y'all stuff. Like, when it comes to these type beats, they probably go through it and just listen to it. And it's kind of crazy, because J. Cole literally saw one, the first one he saw, and decided to write something over it. And that's insane to me, bro. It's insane, because... Now you give like all these guys and gals uh, that make beats like these, um, like kind of like a like a boost. It gives them like like a so a, a bit of motivation. Like oh, sh you know, if it happened to this guy, anything's possible. You know what I mean? Pretty much. Like I'm not only putting on putting this out there just to like make money and uh, selling my beats to maybe some other rappers or whatever it might be. But it's the fact that like big names are seeing my stuff too, and it's possible they can see it through you know YouTube, a platform that uh, gives you an opportunity to blow up however possible. You know what I mean? You can go viral any form of way. This is insane to me, bro. This is insane. I uh, loved it. Uh, very cool uh, idea. The fact that he, he he wrote over this and just gave somebody else the opportunity that that probably just has been. I was hungry selling these beats, bro. Trying to sell these beats. Is that, I, 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 I already knew he was different, bro, from the moment he started doing, uh, what is it, the Dollar and the Dream Tour? Uh, or all his concerts were a dollar? I didn't you, even know that. You, you literally, I did not know. You literally brought a dollar? Nah. 
and he performed. Nah. I'm I'm not even what joking, the, bro. What the crazy? Bro. Ain't no way, bro. I love every damn about J Cole, bro. Uh, Dreamville, uh, everybody he put on on that. Uh, just I don't know, bro. He's different. He's he's built different. This is why a lot of people. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, a lot of people want to put him up there. Uh, one of the best rappers uh, up there with, with Kendrick. Uh, and a lot of these other names. Um, and I can see why, like, not just off of rapping, not off of, like, the, the lyricism, but the, the, just the person he is, period, mm -hmm. like, is, is very humbling. And then who knows, <laughs> he might comment on this, uh, YouTube video. I will lose my mind. Uh, beautiful people, if you're new to the channel, masterpiece, subscribe, hit that post notification bell to see me post another video, like the video, if you like the video for the boys, and don't forget to comment down below what video we should react to next. Uh, if y'all want some more J. Cole or anybody else, let us know. This is our first time doing J. Cole, that's kind of crazy. Uh, definitely want to do some more of, uh... I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, me neither, me neither. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, Siri. <laughs> Me neither. I'm uh, gonna end it with that note. Remember, keep it simple. Never. And we'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Peace. Who told you you can make a special guest appearance?